Daniel Bumpers Gymnasium is packed for a big 7A Area 1 matchup. The MGM Vikings coming in with an 11-5 record and looking to make a big impact with an area win over their arch rival. Across the court, Baker wants to defend the Hornets' nest and stay undefeated in area play. Oh, I forgot to mention, it is the Battle of Westmobile, so the stakes are super high tonight. Get ready because here comes the MCPSS High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Al Whedon along with Coach Ronnie Arrow. Coach, once again, we feature one of the top scorers in the nation, LeBaron Filon. He's now ranked number three, but he's got some help this time when we see him tonight, Coach. The Flowers young man got well from his ankle injury from football, and I saw them play twice when he was playing. He takes so much off. You know, when, when Baker was going to have play, uh, LeBaron was having to score 44 points right, right. for them to win. If right. he didn't score 40, that's a big undertaking. I got to score 44 points. Now he's averaging 36, which isn't that bad. Which ain't, ain't bad. And Flowers is coming in and taking a lot of scoring off of him. And speaking of Flowers, good. he's going to get the start tonight along with Anderson Maddian, Lavelle Nelson, Phylon, and Charles Taylor for MGM coming in. Jalen Gray, Eric Washington, LaShonda Harris, John Robinson, and DJ Barton. And coach, this, this is a matchup we've been looking forward to. We talked about it in the previous ball game. We've both seen MGM in person, seen Baker, and uh, this isn't the old MGM team you may think of a couple years ago. These oh, guys no. are ready to play tonight. No, they're, they're ready to play. This, there, there's basketball games, and then there's rival basketball games. This is big for this district. These two teams right. right here, the winner of these games now, you know, Coach uh, was saying that this should be three games that they're going to be playing. This is just the first one. But uh, this will go a long way to show who's boss. And here's a look at area standards right now. MGM on top because they've only played one more area game than Baker. Both undefeated in area play, as you can see. Uh, with Baker 2-0 and and Mir Montgomery 3-0. So that's why I said in my intro, the stakes are high tonight. Yes, it's the battle with Mobile, but, you know, a loss right here could have an effect later on as to who's going to be the home team during tournament play. No question. One stat that you need to remember, Baker's averaging uh, 71 points a game and MGM's averaging 53 points per game. So it's going to, there's, there's going to be something there one way or the other if they make their average, if they don't. When you have a person averaging 36 points a game, yeah. you're going to be averaging a lot of points. So, so it's, Coach, something is going to have to give. The, the rubber's going to have to meet the road here for the ball game. So we're close to tip off here between MGM and Baker. Been looking forward to this one. I saw it on the calendar. I hadn't slipped it out, but... Uh, I put it on out there on social media last night. If you're not in the building, you need to be watching us tonight. There's no question. That. What a pretty picture looking at the crowd in Mobile, Alabama for high school basketball. I agree with you. Right here about to tip it off. Eric Washington and Anderson Magin for the Hornets. Baker wins the tip. And they're off. A turnover oh, yeah. early on the ball game there to Baker and it's out on MGM so it's going to be Baker's basketball going the other way. Good shot right there of Josh Flowers who's also the quarterback for the Baker Hornets as well. He brings so much to the team and uh, coach said coach Armstrong said he is their best defensive player. He can score he can guard. He can do all the things to help LeBaron out and the team out. Hornets moving the ball around. Nelson back to five line. Imagine comes off of the screen. He was setting up. He gets it high at the top of the key. Back to five line once again. Five line's going to launch a three. Rims out. Nice rebound. Rebound by Imagine. Fights down low. Gets his nice own rebound. rebound. Misses a shot and is going to be out on Baker. So it'll be MGM's basketball. But good hustle right there down low by the big fella. Who cut checks in at six seven for the Baker Hornets? Only a junior, just like our final on as well. He's going to be a really good player. He's just got to get more physical and stay I agree. physical. I agree. But I was glad to see some of that physicality. That's something he did not demonstrate last year as a sophomore. So you can see how his game has grown and he has grown in age as well. Washington from um, MGM has given up two or three inches. He's, they list him at six five. He's probably six five, six four and a half. So he's given up 
a couple inches there. They're going to call the foul right there on Phylon, who gave the bump to Jalen Gray. First foul on Phylon and first team foul against the Hornets. This is going to be a lot of quickness on this court. Don't be surprised if both teams uh, from the very start start pressing each other with full court, whether it's man-to-man -man or whether it's zone press. Charles Taylor all up on the Shande Horace. Horace kicks it out to DJ Barton, and Barton knocks it out. So it's turnover on the play, Baker basketball. Everybody was a turnover, but everybody was in the right position. It just went through his hands. Uh, it wasn't that he threw it to open air. Charles Taylor running point this time. Ball is kicked by one of the Vikings. It'll be Baker's ball on the side out on the far side of the court. Shot right there of Junior. The Baron Fallon, third leading scorer in the nation, leading scorer in the state of Alabama, for sure. And the last time I looked, they were ranked. Baker was ranked 10th in the state. And since we've had them on, they went up to Huntsville and played in a big ball game up there, the Holiday Classic. Count the basket for Phylon as he is fouled on the play. See who they're going to call that one on. You know, on he's, a great, Broughton. he's a great player, Al. There's no question about it. But look at these stats. 36 points, but he's hitting 52% from the floor by shots like that, right. getting all the way uh, to the hole. On his threes, he's 37%, uh, uh, which is a great stat. And he's getting six rebounds a game. High Total player. High percentage shots he's making. I saw the other day where he's still listed as a, as a four star. <laughs> That'll change soon, Coach. That'll change soon. But in this day and age, you know, Talent is talent. You don't worry about the stars because, hey. you know, the kid's got a lot of offers. I think he's narrowed it down to six schools so far right now. I saw where two of them were in my home state, Texas. Yeah, two of them in your home, yeah. So he's narrowed it down to six Houston. schools as a, as a junior, so decision time hadn't occurred yet. You know, when I went to the game, uh, Coach Pearl Bruce was at the game watching, and uh, he just came out and said legit, It'll probably be between us and Alabama. Yeah, and that, that, those are two of the schools that are part of that six. Ball over the foul line right here. Coach Oates might be in trouble. Well, Coach Pearl, both of them in some articles have been mentioned for the Texas job. Yeah. Flowers with the ball. Goes behind his back, drives in. Left-handed, very Left-handed, nice. Left -handed, puts it in. Nice shot right there by Josh Flowers. Baker on top, five to nothing over MGM, putting a little press on him. Mm -hmm. As they're trying to get it across the timeline. Phylon oh, steals it. And he's going to drive to the hole and scores. And once again, and one coming up for the young man. All right now he has five points on the ball game. You know, those turnovers, they, they've turned the ball over twice now. And they scored on both of them. That, it's another free throw. That is how they're averaging uh, 71 points a game. Phylon has six of the eight points for the Hornets. And look at that press, that defense, double teaming. Nice shot right from the elbow. Zion Hunter nice. has checked in. Oh, that's got to be a foul. That's going to be a foul, I believe, against Flowers right there. And the correction, they're going to call it on on Mayor Montgomery, on Zion Hunter. That's his first foul. I thought it was going against Baker, but no, against MGM. Yeah. Charles Taylor bringing the ball down the court. He has a lot of quickness to their uh, team also. He was hurt the first time that we played him also, but that we uh, did the game. Down low, Josh, I'm sorry, Anderson Magin. You know what? He has gotten better and better because he's gotten more physical every time we've seen him play. If he gets physical, when he gets physical, he's going to be ahead of the player. He came to our classroom three or four times with the elite group that we have. And that foul called on Gray. Well, 
no correction on Eric Washington. Andrew makes both of them. He's a 67% free throw shooter. He goes there, another turnover. Hornets up 10, another turnover. MGM kind of coming out tight here, Coach Arrow. Yeah. Not very loose. Here's a three from LeBaron Fylon. And another Sinks time. it, and he's going to go back to the line. This could be a four-point play, Coach Aaron. That's that's three times he scored. Every time he scored, he's been fouled. Time. That's right. He is definitely drawing the action. And Coach Robertus Kimball is going to call a timeout before the free throw. He definitely wants to talk to his team as LeBaron Fylon is hit a two and foul, hit a two and foul. Now hit a three and foul. Well, needless to say, they've gotten off to a bad start. The turnovers, you know, you turn it over, but if you turn it over, you got to get back and not let the other team score. They've scored every time, and if I'm not mistaken, at least two of the three, maybe all three of them, were three points. And this is a team you don't want to get down to because they can really open it up on you. Down 13 points, a shot right there. That's Coach David Armstrong. 143 and 59 is his overall career record. And uh, this is the, uh, the school he went to high school to as well, yeah. Baker High School. He's a Baker graduate himself. This, these are very, very experienced teams uh, coming in here. Um, uh, Baker has four returning starters back, and MGM has three starters back, and the two coaches, these aren't rookies. Oh, these no. These two coaches have been coach of the year twice each right so these are this this game is very experienced very evenly matched as well Fallon back at the line he is three for three so far from the free throw line I think he's three for four or four for five from the, from uh, the field floor. yeah what stats he has and when I say on uh, with LeBaron, he's shooting 37% uh, from the threes. That's not like he's taken like 10 of them. He's taken 160 threes and made 59. He just picked up his second foul. Coach yes. Armstrong can't believe it. Quite demonstrative in his reaction to that foul called by Le LeBaron McClendon. The foul on has two fouls and 10 points. He's got to lay off a bit. They're going to catch Anderson Madgen for a foul right there down low. That was that was the first time that they went to a one three one zone trapping in the corner, putting more pressure on him. Robinson inbounds the ball. Zion Hill throws it away, but yeah, that's, a, that's a backcourt violation. And Phylon was ready to pounce on him and drive in, but Baker's going to get the ball regardless. Quite interesting, Coach. If you would have told me MGM was going to be down 14 to nothing, I would have said, no, you got to be lying. Man. There's this not a person. Unreal. There's not a person in those stands would have believed that. 14 to nothing here. And we're halfway through the first quarter. Stephen Newhouse, the Baron McClendon, and Todd Stollard, our officials for this game. They also uh, officiated the girls' game as well. Yeah, they're probably time. a little tired themselves. <laughs> nice hesitation, find the open person. And he finds Josh Flowers. Yeah. Flowers shot oh, shot. is short. Couldn't get enough leg on him and extended up. He died out like a flailing duck from the elbow. Hands off. John Robinson pass stolen. Charles Taylor fast break points easy. At 16 to nothing, the score. Your eyes are not deceiving you. It's Friday the 13th, but the Vikings down 16 points here in the first quarter. LaShawn Day Horace drives in. His shot no good. Nice putback right there by Eric Washington to get MGM on the board. They've got to start getting Eric, and Eric's got to become active. Uh, he's got to score for them, uh, especially inside to outside. He's got to score for them. Foul call right there on LaShawn Day Horace. We're going to see. We're going to see real quick, Al, what, what MGM's made of. They're down. We're going to see what they're made of. If they can get some stops, get some good shots, and Cut this thing to six, seven, eight points, and then go from there. Start the game over again. 
They're probably in shell shock too. They got to get out of that. Also, look at this, coach. There's a shot of Rhett Ford who has checked into the ball game. MGM is one foul away from putting Baker into the bonus. We haven't even hit the second quarter yet. Right. So think about that coming up. And, and Rhett Ford is the son of Wade Ford who puts all this together for us. One of the ones that puts all this together. Our for director us. upstairs. Foul on, fouled on the play by Zion Hunter. I have Hunter with two. And who's back at the line again? LeBaron foul on. I tell you what, David is, is I, I hate to play him in poker, because I, I think I'd have LeBaron out right now with this lead and with two fouls. With two fouls, right? Yeah, I'd have him out of the game right now, but you know, that's me. Checking back in, John Robinson, so Hunter's gonna sit down with his two fouls. It might be the kiss of death, but so far, a foul line perfect from the line. And remains that way. Here he comes up. Good call. Charles Taylor checks in for him. I have foul line with 12 points so far here in the first quarter, so he's accounted for more than half of the Baker's out offensive output. No surprise there, averaging no. 36 points. A little step back three. Rims out for Jeremiah Bolton. And they're going to say it is MGM's ball. Flowers almost Good went effort. for it, but he let it go on out. You know, it's almost like MGM now is trying to get back, get some energy going, get some energy flowing. Nice move. Nice move. They, they right, got to get the ball Washington to Washington. Over Derek Florence right there, who checked in as well for Baker. Washington, very athletic player. Got a chance to see him a few times during the Gulf Coast Holiday Classic. Another foul committed by MGM. That's the seventh foul. Horace picks up his second, so that places Baker in the bonus. They'll go to the line shooting one and one. And we have 214 remaining in the first quarter, Coach L. Yeah, and again, we're going to see what MGM's made of. Uh, no one thought that they would get off to this bad a start, but the problem is they did. Now we're going to see the character. Taylor misses. That's the first miss from the charity strike for the Hornets tonight. Ford with the ball, passes it back. Nice bucket. No, did not drop. And that's an offensive foul going the other way. Jeremiah Bolton got his own rebound. On Jeremiah Bolton, Coach Arrow. Yeah. That's a shame because he was having good effort and then come up with a foul. But at least they're showing some energy now. You know, they, they, they get a couple quick steals and layups and get that mind flowing back positive. Uh, we'll, we'll have a game. Some type of way I'm off. I thought nice that help. was the eighth team foul, but... They there have the gym as the 19th foul stolen by MGM and laid in go. by John Robinson. MGM trying to come to life here. Phylon sitting on the bench with two fouls. Nice they cross Sean over. Beverly looking for the open man. Finds Josh Flowers. Flowers shot high off the mm -hmm. glass, but followed up by Derek Florence. Yeah. He was active from the very start. He started out as a free throw line. Nice drive. Back to the hole again for Robinson. And that ball thrown away by Baker. So MGM trying to get it cranked up. Down 12 points with 63 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Down 12 right now is good. Now if they can score here, down 10, get a couple right. stops. You know, everybody thinks when you get down, we got to score. Well, you do. But you also got to stop. ESPN's active over there. Well, they're quite active. <laughs> that entire hooligan section is up. They had, it, they had it marked off earlier. This is for the hooligans. That's great. I love that. Penetration dished off down low to DJ Barton. Char Flowers with the assist. And as you said, Coach Eric, cut it to 10. Got a little pressure right just here. Just keep your cool. Don't reach. Don't get any crazy fouls. Just play solid defense. Get a couple stops and go down and score. 
Flowers, the only starter on the floor for the Hornets. This shot blocked. MGM can cut it to single digits with a bucket right here. Under 30 seconds. Rick Ford takes a long three. And it drops in for Ford. Was that Wade that was beating on the wall? That was there? Wade. And the lead is seven. <laughs> Florence's shot is blocked. Two. Look at MGM mounting a comeback here. Two bad shots. Jeremiah Bolton drives in, and he is fouled on the play. As Coach Armstrong pulled all the starters except for Florence. Take a look at that replay right here. But you know, both, both teams play a lot of kids. So if he pulls a whole team, that's sort of normal of what they do. It's not, you know, that they're all tired or anything. He, he plays a lot of both these teams. And Coach Arrow goes with the first free throw attempt for MGM. That's what happens when you get active. You usually don't get fouled by standing around. You get active when you get fouled. Bolton is a 67% shooter from the line. There's the assassin, Jaden Campbell. Nice, nice quick, play. fast break action as they bring the assassin in, get a quick bucket. 22 to 14 is our score here in the first quarter as we wrap up first quarter action. You're watching the MCPSS High School Basketball Game of the Week. Thank you. You're welcome. Ava, hi. Oh, hi, Sierra. How are you? Good. How are things? Things couldn't be better. What do you mean? Well, I just started this new job as a school teacher with the Mobile County Public Schools, and it has been a life changer. Great benefits, the hours are great, and great students. Just the overall, it's a great opportunity. Oh, wow, that sounds great. Yeah. I'm going to look into that. You should. For more information, visit mcpss.com slash job opportunities. You've got questions? We got answers. mcpss.com. Whether it's attendance zones, school calendar, lunch menus, or registration information that you are looking for, you can find it right here, mcpss.com. You can also get the latest news and district-wide calendar information, and it's just a click away. So when you need to know, and you need to know right now, check us out, mcpss.com. We welcome you back to the MCPSS High School Basketball Game of the Week. Al Wheaton, Coach Ronnie Arrow. It's time for second quarter action. Coach, you made a good observation since Fallon went to the bench. How many turnovers did Baker have? Three. Three. And Three. now, now it's uh, six to five, uh, six to five in wow. turnovers. So they've caught up turnover wise. And Jim trying to score quickly out of the break. They cannot do that. Long outlet pass. To Jaden Campbell. Nice finish. And they're going to call that. Charge. That charge offensive foul. Uh, you know what? Waving they, off the basket. They were very lucky. They had one guy back. They should have been having three or four just hauling down there to stop that. But my man got back, took the charge, stopped two points. Bolton with the ball, works it back over to John Robinson. This is taking his time. Nice crossover. Yep. We and faked out shot. Josh Flowers. You talked about the defense that Coach Armstrong provided, but he faked and crossed over and went the other way. The young players, that's what a crossover, a jab, and a crossover will do for you. Ball knocked out of Campbell's hands by Troy Flowers. It'll remain Baker's basketball. On the floor, we have Phylon, Taylor, Flowers. Campbell. Eric Washington back into the game. He's got he's to start scoring for them. And now checking in for Alex Threadgill. No, Threadgill's going to remain. Flowers going to come out. Anderson Maggio is going to be in the game. So, Pylon's going to inbound it to the big fella. Pylon penetrates, takes a little hop step. No good on the bucket. And they're going to see it hit the, the baseline, baseline, so it's going to remain with Baker. Look at there. Fortunate bounce for the Hornets. Yeah, it is. That's a shame MGM had a lot of energy going for that reason. Right, right. Red Gill frees up. 
Taylor thought about the three, pops out. Here go penetrate. They're gonna call him for the double dribble. It'll be a turnover to MGM. Down eight points here. Could cut it to a two possession ball game with a bucket right here. Yeah, Alex Threadwell just got into the game. He's to take care of the ball. When he's driving, you got a little loose with it. Nice There's step a back. step back, Harden three by Bolton, no good. They tried to collapse on fire line, but realized we need to get back on defense. Yeah. <laughs> it was three of them on him, Coach Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody's that, gotta go home, man. Is, is that called respect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jaden Campbell penetrate, and he is, no, not foul. They're just going to say it's a loose ball. You know what? I think that's a good call. I think he got all ball. Yep. There's a lot of dramatics uh, in, in uh, that play with uh, Jay Campbell, but I think that was a good call. They're looking to get it to foul on. He's going to just – no, mm. not drain the three. It rimmed out. Well, from our angle, I thought it was in. I thought it was in. Ford with the rebound pushes it down for MGM. A little pull-up jumper by Bolton. No good. Campbell with the rebound. He has come in and brought a lot of energy. There he finally gets the foul as he drives. He's driven to the basket every time he's touched the ball. We're going to call that one on Broughton. That'll be his second. The senior known as the assassin when he plays <laughs> football. And that places Baker in the double bonus. For, so for the next remainder of this quarter, Baker will be shooting from the line. That free throw Jay missed. Campbell. Jay Campbell needs to, you know, they need to make these free throws. He's a 50% free throw shooter, so the odds would say he'll make the last one here as he misses the front end of the two shots. Look at Coach Kimball talking to Broughton. Mm -hmm. Down there coaching. Down. Yep, he's got two coaching. fouls, the big fella, 6'4". And as I said, right. Campbell makes the second. Stats don't lie. They really tell the story, Coach. They really do. As we talk to these coaches, as we prepare and do our homework, and I tell them, I say, look, man, the stats can, that helps us tell the story for your team as we're calling the game. The numbers reflect a lot of what is going to happen and what could happen during the ball game. Nice three right there by Bolton, who shoots 35% from the three area. I believe that ball was thrown away by Taylor. He tried to get it over to Lavelle Nelson, and Nelson wasn't home, Coach. You know, it's down to six points, and the energy level now for uh, MGM is from A to Z. I mean, it's Much not better. even close. But that's what happens when you have energy. You can, they came out dead. I mean, you can't say anything else about yeah. it. But yeah. character took over, and they fighting back. Now, I will say getting foul on and early foul trouble with two. That kind of helped out a little bit, too. Eric Washington with the little spin move. Nice move. And down low, fighting in the paint. John Robinson, he's only 5'10", but he's making his presence known as Magian picks up his second foul. Tell you what, Eric Washington was uh, what made that go because he tipped it a couple of times with his thickness in size and his long arms. Hmm. That, was, that was a missile shot there, yeah, Coach Ryan. Yeah, that was a little good looking there. He, did, he used the arm and <laughs> heaved that one there. Yeah. Now put some arc on it, young man. Come on. Concentrate. This could cut it to a five point lead. Mm -hmm. Misses both of them. It's tough. And get back and get a stop. Vikings one for four from the charity strike. Byline shot does not drop. Oh. And someone fouled as uh, Florence Eric. brought down the rebound and Troy Flowers stuck his hand in there. And that means Florence will go to the line shooting two, a 50% free throw shooter. And as we said, Baker in the double bonus the rest of the first half here. Nine for 11, so Portis only missed two free throws so far, Coach Al. Yeah, they're doing a good job on making their free throws and MGM until uh, we get the stats. 
are not making their free throws as, as good as uh, Baker is. And then he misses. Boy, well, kind of keyed that one up yeah. there. The second one had good form there. 1-3-1, one, one, they're back to their 1-3-1. One, They'll trap in the corner. So Bolton, he just dribbles all around it. He said, I'm going to drive, and I'm going to penetrate and get fouled. You know, call that on Derek Florence. Should be his first. 17 foul. So now, MGM in the bonus, but it'll be two shots coming up right here for Jeremiah Bolton. Now he's a 67% free throw uh, shooter. He, he needs to make these. Gets the first one. You know, when I say he needs to make it, I'm not pulling for one team. I just like to see both teams do good. Second rims out, rebound by MGM. But they lose it. Michael Johnson tried to force it down there to Threat Gill, but he forgot John Robinson nice. was in the way. That's a three, no good. Hey, what John Robinson is getting his hands on a lot of rebounds. Yes, sir, he is. Holland trying to calm him down, set up the offense here for the Hornets. Looking for that high Kick screen. Kickoff there, good help. That's guarded really well. <laughs> A little 10-foot jump <coughs> from Phylon is good. We talked about him earlier, Eric Washington. Got a score. Nice turnaround, but cannot finish. Sort of shot put at that one. It wasn't a nice flow to Correct. that shot. They're going to call an offensive foul right there against Baker. <clears throat> if MGM is going to have a chance for winning this game, uh, Washington is going to have to score. He's going to have to at least get, he's averaging 12 points a game, shooting 55% from the floor. He's got to get 12 or 18 or somewhere like that mm -hmm. with a good percentage. And Bill Nelson charged with that last foul mm -hmm. for Baker. Shot no good for MGM. That's a chip shot. He's going to yep. miss that. Very good with the rebound. Approaching three minutes left here in the second quarter. Here comes the knockoff again. Eight point Here's. lead for the Hornets. Five lines three is no good. I don't know about that shot. From the elbow, no good mm. for Bolton as well. Another rebound for Alex Threadgill, who averages 4.5 rebounds a game. As the Hornets working it over to Michael Johnson. Johnson going to go down and do a little dip to do. Does not fall. Two on one yeah, opportunity man. here. But Sean Day Harris drives in and nice scores. Finish. Nice pass by uh, Zion Hunter. And look at the quick outlet to Le yeah. LeBaron Phylon, yeah, who yeah. puts up two right quick. You know, the difference in this game right now, having a stud on your team. When you need a bucket, you need to keep your lead. Right. The ball goes to the bear. Makes life a lot easier, but the rest of the team chimes in too. It's not all him. Horace launches the three. Rims out. Nice putback, but does not fall. And who on the rebound once again? Alex Threadgill. That's the yeah. superintendent, son. And he's superintending the, the he's, glass he's this evening. Coach. He can do that. He's a fine athlete. Tries to set the screen, but rolls off. Flowers back in the ball game. This foul line. Diane Hill out there with two fouls. And look yeah. at the easy lay-in by foul line as there, he extends. There was no back rotation to stop him from getting. You know, he, if he gets by, you can't just let him get all the way to the hole. You got to back rotate and come up and challenge him. Foul line with the steal. Look for him to possibly shoot that three. Instead, he dribbles down low, hangs and fouled on the play. That's why he's shooting 52% from the floor because he gets to the hole a lot. When you get to the hole a lot, those are very, very good percentage shots. It helps your average come up. He got Jalen Gray to hang in the air and got the contact, so picks up the foul. Foul on the shoot two. Lead is 10 here for Baker. Well, he misses his first free throw tonight. I think that's rarity. 
with him uh, missing a free throw. He's an 84% free throw shooter, so he's pretty much money from the line. If you go straight across the board, it shows no weakness. He also gets four assists a game, six rebounds. His shooting percentage is great. That's why everybody in the country wants him. Minute 41 remaining. Foul line hits the second one. He, he will make somebody in college a better coach. I had the Hornet 10 for 13 from the charity strike here in the first half. MG only has five free throw attempts so far. Nice action down low. Eric Washington, easy bucket for the Vikings. He's got to, he's got to come alive. He's, he's got to score. Lead is nine. Nice pressure on the ball. Yeah. Alex Gregill in the paint, kicks it out to Josh Flowers. Flowers trapped in the corner, but he does escape. And Threadgill puts it back in, count the basket for the senior. And they're going to call a foul against Rick Ford, Ford's first foul. Look at Threadgill working down low, kicks it out, and they're going to get it back over give, to him. Give Baker credit that every time MGM makes a run, 4.6 points, then Baker comes back with a score for two. And it's not just LeBaron doing it, it's others also. Fred Gill completes the three-point play as we are under one minute remaining in the ballgame. Lead blossoms back up to 12, Coach Errol. Yeah. <clears throat> both bunches now need to do what they do both good now. Again, Baker right now is in a 1-3. One, one it looks like zone. Looks like they're going to trap at the wings and the corner before. They were just trapping in the corners now. It looks like they're trapping in the wings also. Deshaun Beverly fouls Deshaun Day Horace. He shoots 67% from the free throw line. The closest the lead has been was six points for the Vikings. They can't break it within six. Nice putback yeah, right there by Robinson. Thirty-nine seconds left to go. Thirty-four, twenty-four left in the, the half. Uh, let's see if they try and go for a last shot. Good switch, man-to-man -man coverage. Nice move by David Armstrong. That's oh. Fylon on the bench right now with those two fouls. They need to pick up a third. One. That's a great move. Jaden Campbell shoots it over to. Josh Flowers, I don't think Flowers has hit a bucket tonight, Coach mm -hmm. Arrow. He's been active, but he hasn't gotten one to drop. Ball thrown away by MGM. Ah. And checking in right quick with 9.8 seconds, Phylon comes That's in to probably man. put the dagger in right here before who, the half. Who do you think is going to take the last second? Shot? I think it's going to be LeBaron Phylon. No You're doubt a smart about man. it. No doubt about it. They may try to deny, 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 but he's, he's going to have the rock and he's going to have the ball. <laughs> See if they pick for him to get over or he's just, uh, they were coming. Gives it up. Oh, he does get it up. Taylor's shot is yeah. off. So the lead is 10 at the half. Baker on top, 34 to 24. Interesting first half. And they're lucky it's only 10. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. they showed character to come back. Good for them. Uh, Baker has held the lead. I think they were up, what, 18 or 19 yeah. to nothing yeah. or somewhere in there. And uh, the bottom line is they came back. All right, we'll come back and take a look at some first half statistics, and we'll bring you halftime here for the MCPSS High School Basketball Game of the Week. There's a lot to like about Mobile County Public Schools. What I enjoy about Mobile County School is the extra attention my teachers give us to help us learn. Teachers are liking their access to technology, and students are liking the quality of their education. I like the technology that's been incorporated into my education. And since 1826, you have trusted us to prepare your child for their future, and we like that. Mobile County Public Schools. We are learning today, leading tomorrow. High school students, are you looking for a way to become a better leader? Then the Junior Officers Training Corps may be what you're seeking. 
If you would like to develop self-reliance, learn ways to be more responsible, and improve your communication skills, you can do that and more when you register for the Junior Officers Training Corps. The JROTC program is available to all high school students in Mobile County. JROTC, we build a better you. You're watching the MTPSS High School Basketball Game of the Week. The action comes to you from Daniel Bumper's Gymnasium on the campus of Baker High School. We're inside the MTPSS Sports Central Studios. Al Wheaton and Coach Ronnie Arrow. Interesting first half, Coach Arrow. Here's a look at the statistics. As you can see right there, field goal's almost close. 11 for 19, 11 for 15. There's a difference in the game free throws. Uh, in for 15. I have I have Baker at 11 for 14 myself. So uh, that, that definitely makes a big difference. So they've, they've made they've made uh, yeah that, that, that's important. Also uh, the three pointers, not many three pointers. Uh, probably the three pointers for Baker. And the one I have is the one that the Baron Fowler. Uh, and I have Fowler right now unofficially with 19 points, one three-pointer. He did put up a few threes, he did. Uh, but uh, weren't, weren't, weren't successful. And pretty much he he was uh, only missed one free throw from yeah. the line. And, and <clears throat> most of those three-pointers, uh, a lot of times they could have been four-pointers. That first <laughs> one, uh, that, that first one, you know, with the free throws and everything. But, you know, when he went out is when MGM, and I'm not taking anything away from MGM, when, when he went out, that's when they started catching up. And that's something I was going to ask you about, the resiliency of Coach Kimball and his team. He, he's no rookie in the game. He's been coaching a while. But for them to calm down, because they came out flat, Coach. They were down they really 14, were. 15 points. And, and, and finally picking up those, that second foul, that allowed them to, uh, you know, MGM kind of get things back together. Yeah, there's, there's no question about it. And also, when LeBaron went out, when Fallon went out, they also had three straight turnovers. Correct. So not just him scoring, him handling the ball, making decisions His with the ball. So, uh, and then the other one, Flowers, you know, isn't scoring that much, but he's handling the ball uh, good, and uh, he hasn't turned the ball over Yeah, that much. Flowers averages 8.8 .8 points a game, but I don't see him making any buckets so far, so he's got to turn it up for the Hornets coming up in the second half. We're going to take a break and come back and bring you more action. It's halftime. Baker's on top, 34 to 24. Parents, if you have a child who will be four years of age on or before September 1st, 2023, then mark your calendar to register for the Mobile County Public Schools First Class Pre-K Program. Online registration for the 2023-24 school year opens January 15th, so don't miss this opportunity. Log on to mcpss.com for more information and a complete listing of pre-K sites, screening, and selection info. First Class Pre-K Registration, January 15th. Save the date! Pre-K in the Mobile County Public School System started in 1988. So Just Four started with maybe around 10 or 12 classrooms for four-year-olds, but then we realized that there was a need throughout Mobile County, and not everyone had the ability to drive into Just Four, but trust me, people were trying to get to Pre-K. It was a great program. Just Four is one of the only schools, I think there may be other two other um, centers that service only four-year-olds. And the uniqueness of that is that we have the opportunity to focus solely on the social, emotional, and educational development of four-year-olds. These things are so critical so that we can have them prepared for when they leave, leave here and go on to kindergarten at various schools. We service kids from all over Mobile County Public Schools District, so we're not zoned for any particular area. So we have the opportunity to deal with children from multiple um, districts within the, the county. We have, uh, we actually have 16 regular education classrooms, as well as two special education blended classrooms. And those classrooms work, the blended classrooms work to 
uh, support our special education students as well as provide the opportunity for our peer mentors or peer models to come in and serve as role models. It's a crucial benefit for our kids. Uh, most of our children have attended some type of daycare, but most of them have not attended a really structured type of setting, um, been in a classroom. So for our babies, it just gives them a leg up because they have a whole year of experiences in pre-K before they start kindergarten. You can tell the difference between our children who have had that year of experience in a pre-K program and those who have not. So you get to the kindergarten setting and you have um, typically either you, three different groups of children. You have children who have never been to school at all, not to daycare, not to school. Um, then you have the children who have been to daycare and then to pre-K. And then you have our babies who have been to pre-K and then entering kindergarten. And there's a huge difference in those children. Um, those babies who have that pre-K experience, again, it's such a structured, it's structured play is what it is. Um, you know, they think that everything they do in that classroom is fun um, and is play, but it's, it's very thought out, very well planned. Um, and those kids with that experience, you know, they've had time with computers, they've had time learning how to line up. They, they're just a whole year ahead of their peers who don't have that experience. So huge benefits for our children. Having a free program of this caliber for your child to attend, I mean, why wouldn't you want to be a part of it? It's outstanding. All of the educators have early childhood teaching certificates. All of the auxiliary teachers in the classroom have early childhood background. Um, everybody attends professional development. We have two adults to 18 children. It's a phenomenal program. <laughs> the partnership is necessary because we've got to all work together. Whether you are a standalone facility, whether you are Head Start, Mobile County Public School System, that partnership is essential to our children. And that's what this is all about. It's about our children. It's about them having quality programs because when they do well in pre-K, we know the data, we know what the studies show, that those students are more likely to graduate and graduate on time. And those students are also going to be more adjusted and ready to serve, ready to lead, and ready to learn. And there's a look at the MTPSS first class pre-K program where we're learning today and leading tomorrow. Leading right now, Baker's on top 34 to 24. We're going to take a quick break, come back, and bring you the second half of the MTPSS high school basketball game of the week. This is a program for any middle school student who's actually behind. This opportunity offers kids a chance to do two grades in one year. If it wasn't for Star Academy, I would still be in eighth grade and probably still struggling. We are one-on-one. -on -one. We have small classrooms and we're able to give students that personal touch, that personal attention. I know I'm coming to see good teachers, good attitude, and also they're here to teach us what we need to learn. If you look at the numbers, Mobile County Public Schools is making great strides. With more than 53,000 students, 7,000 employees, and 90 schools, we are consistently increasing our four-year graduation rate and our first-class pre-K program. We continue to strive for national recognition and continue to prepare our students for the global workforce. And we do all of this with one goal in mind, to equip and empower college and career-ready graduates. Mobile County Public Schools, we're learning today, leading tomorrow. We welcome you back to the Battle of West Mobile. Earlier tonight, the Lady Vikings of MGM, they won their ball game. And right now, Baker's leading to see if they're going to capture the title of uh, champs of West Mobile. Currently, MGM is 3-0 in area play. Baker's 2-0 in area play. So there's a lot riding on this ball game tonight, Coach Aaron. Start of the second half in any game, the winner loses you the game. No matter what you did the first half, you go in and talk about it and make your errors known and then fix them and then come out the second half. But right now, this is going to be important for both teams. Who's going to come out with getting it done offensively and defensively? Quick foul right there on the play. 
called against Anderson Madgen of B Baker. And that's Madgen's third foul, Coach Arrow. Yeah, that, that's going to hurt him also. Uh, he's been really active tonight, and he brings length to it. Sure does. Florence defends nice down move. low. Eric Washington comes through. He's got to score. Wish he'd post a little bit higher. He was really low then. He's a 6'5 junior for the Vikings for Baron Fallon. Nice drives spell. in. He's going to take it. Nice forces spell. it in. Does not bounce through the cylinder. But Baker fortunes to get that loose ball rebound. There's a long three for Josh Flowers. I don't believe he is connected yet. He's trying to find his shot tonight, Coach. Yeah, he might be forcing a little bit, you know, too much. Uh, full house. But he's got to get into the flow of the game. He, look, he's an athlete. He plays football. He knows what athletics all about. But he can't be pushing what's not there. There's the outlet to Flowers. Maybe he can drive in and score and scores Scores. And count the basket and one coming up for Josh Flowers. That foul on John Robinson, his first for MGM. Look at the replay right there. Took it to the hole strong and finished. Flowers cannot make the free throw. And they come out. One, two, two, full court press. That's nice a shot. three from Jeremiah Bolton, who drained it from the Sims Nursery. Man. I think Coach Rovercoach wanted them to press after that when they, they got out of the press. And nice Phylon lays it in. What a easy. hesitation. Uh huh. What a hesitation move. All, all you young kids, there's the hesitation move for you. And notice Phylon is taking off the uh, t-shirt, Coach Arrow, under oh, his jersey. Eric's, yeah. So Eric's, he, he's known uh, for making a halftime adjustment. I've seen him play one half with a pair of shoes and come out in the second half with another pair of shoes on. Boy, he had one pair of shoes on. Look at our, we talked about that when we had it. It looked like rainbow. Phylon with the ball. Tough shot. The nice turnaround shot. jumper. Just outside of the elbow as he drains another one. Two for two here in the and third quarter, back. the second half of the ball game. We've been talking about Robinson all night tonight. He got the start. But Sean Day Horace drives nice in. Move. He sat out last year, the <laughs> only senior on the team. He was the Crichton Optimus Club player of the week this past week, as a matter of fact. But playing right now, Charles Taylor delivers an easy layup. For Baker, for a second, we were off to the races there, Coach Arrow. Yeah, both teams are pushing the ball now. Both teams is going to be very important. They got to get back on defense. They can't be wondering what's going on after they uh, either score or the team, uh, the other team gets the ball. They got to get back and stop layups or easy shots. Second foul by Derek Florence. First mm. free throw is off by D.J. Broughton. You got to come back on that second free throw. Do whatever you do. Dribble it once, twice, whatever. Come up and look at that thing right in the eyes and make that thing. Broughton, 57% free throw shooter. Misses them both. Boy, that's tough when you're trying to catch up and miss two free throws. 42, 33. 519 to go in the Another third quarter. Another three from Josh Flowers. And he drains and gets his first bucket. I know that'll kind of get the cobwebs off a little Every bit. time they make MGM makes a run, Baker comes back and, and nullifies it. Yep, comes back and answers to that. There's Washington down low. Nice spin move. Nice the shot. Six five junior spins and drops it in. If I'm As not you mistaken, said, he's got to get active tonight. If so. I'm not mistaken, he just made his 12-point average, so everything else is, is extra for it's the all team. All gravy now. Yeah. But, but they need that gravy tonight. Down 10 points. Josh Flowers, another three. He's feeling it. The cylinder didn't that. feel that one. It bounced out. Yeah, that, you know, I, I don't know about that shot. 
There's a little hesitation from Jeremiah Bolton. I think he may have heard you channeling your thoughts to Daniel Bumper's gymnasium <laughs> as uh, the, the Baron Fowler kind of demonstrates that hesitation move. Pick up foul for Josh Flowers. I like the energy from Eric Washington. He's really getting into it now. You know, that's what happens. You play hard, you play hard, and he's taking them out now. I think he does need a rest. He's, he's done real good. I doubt if he'll be out very long. First one is made, and the second does not fall for Bolton. That's three out of, three out of four free throws missed, the last free throw. Following in the paint, just kind of crosses oh, over. Tough. A little delayed Euro step oh, there. Tough throw. Nice way for nice. Flowers to lay off and not commit the foul. Nice way. Zion Hunter takes it in for a layup, and now both teams are running. Greg Gill was fouled on the play as he drove in for the easy lay-in. Alex Treadgill is going to the free throw line. He's become active. He's a great athlete. You know, he keeps going to the boards, taking the ball to the hole. He's going to have a good night. Very good. Shoots 41% from the line. And Barton picked up his third foul right there. And back in is Eric Washington. There he go. Drops both of them in. Give a shout out to Coach Riley and the Jags. Nice win last night over James Madison. I saw the uh, the highlights of that. Yeah. They had to kind of squeak it out at the end there. Yeah. High off the glass. Robinson shot no good. Watching him try to nice. put it back in, but tipped in by Hill. Here comes the defense. Here full court press full court here. Press. Baker appears to have broken it. Yep. 47-40. Now you get a couple stops, they're right back in it. Look at Charles Taylor putting on the dribbling clinic. Can he complete yes. it and does. Hits the 14 footer just inside of the charity stripe. The young man drops in the dagger right there, puts the lead back to nine. And number 11, John Robinson comes in with a one hand layup. Quick 30 second timeout call by Robertus Kimball. He says, I, I feel we're getting close, but let's discuss it. How can we get closer down seven here with three minutes to play in the third? You know, in the return match to MGM, they were looking to have the game at another place where they could get more people in. Right, right. And I don't know if they're going to be successful doing that, but uh, hopefully they can. Boy, wouldn't you like to see a game at uh, one Another of the colleges. Shot. Yep. There's a shot of Coach Kimball right there. He went to LaFleur High School, and went to Faulkner Community College, University of Mobile as well. Ask him what's his favorite food. He's kind of like me. He likes seafood, shrimp, seafood. snow crabs. But hey, great guy. Nothing like that. Great, great guy, guy, good yeah, coach. Really, yeah. really is. Heck of a player. All right. MGM down seven. The closest they have gotten it has been six tonight as they started off in the hole early in this ball game, down 15 to 16 points. It's kind of mounted a comeback. Little quick shot thrown up there by Baker. No good. That three rims out for Lavelle Nelson. LaShonda Horace with it. Working it down low is something you said. Get the ball to Washington and let him do some work down low. When you have a big fella like that down, it's hard to guard from behind. They're going to just push you down and use you. You need to either front or three quarter. Josh Flowers giving up three inches to Eric Washington. Picks up his second foul. Robinson trying to inbound the ball. Got some trees in front of him. Look at Horace working off the glass. The young man gets it. He's the only senior on the team, Coach Errol. They're, they're not turning the ball over, and they're really hitting the boards. They're, they're kicking uh, Baker on the boards pretty good right now. The lead is five. This is the closest MGM has been nice all night. Help. Kick out the That's tiller. Great the rims help. out. Look at Fowler fighting it. They give it back to him. Horace did a great job of getting back and filling the lane where they couldn't get all the way to the hole. Fallon looking for a shot. You can see him sizing it up. The turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound by John Robinson. Oh, he loses it. 
Back to Baker Fallon, cleans it up and gets the easy two. And there's a quick timeout. David Armstrong says, I need to talk to you guys. Fallon was already going down the court. Sure and was. he came back he with reversed. the rebound, put it back in. Don't forget, Monday, mark that calendar. Mark it right now. Monday is MLK Day, so all schools and offices will be closed January 16th. So Mobile County Public School System offices and schools are closed in honor of MLK Day this Monday. As we said in the previous ball game, I'm off work, Coach, but I will be working out at Bishop State. Got to do a PA for a tournament. So, did you uh, Did you grow up in Mobile? I am a homegrown tomato right here from Mobile. So you, you got out for Mardi Gras. Uh, not like the children do nowadays. In, <laughs> I, I in, got the one day. <laughs> in Houston, I never heard of that. If I'd have known, I'd have moved down oh, to man. Mobile so I could have got the holiday Mardi Gras. They, they, they rack up now. They get like five days. And, you know, but, uh, yeah, I grew up here, so uh, I know all about it. And Mardi Gras just around the corner coming up. That Tuesday, February 21st, as a matter of fact. Great time. Hope there's no issues downtown uh, for should Mardi Gras. Be, should not be. Everybody enjoy it, but we don't need any craziness in the great town of Mobile. Lead is back to seven. MGM got it to five once again. That's the closest they have come to tying or taking the lead tonight. Rick Ford with the ball, working it over to Zion Hill. Back to Bolton. Everyone's on the perimeter. Who's down low? There's Horace. He tried to force it in. Ford puts Ritt, it back in. And Rick back. Good. Gets good, the rebound, good, puts good it shot, in. Good Ritt. for him. 90 seconds remain. Fallon takes it coast to coast. Follows his own shot. No good. And Eric Washington comes out with that rebound. And Jim trying to cut it with them five. Horace fighting down low, and they do as they're he puts it back in. They're beating them bad on the boards right now. They're getting second and third shots. The lead is three. Jaden Campbell with the ball, pushes it up the floor. That shot blocked. Josh Flower's shot is blocked by Zion Hill. Oh, that's he said earlier he's giving up yeah. four inches to Zion Hunter. Correction on that, Zion Hunter. You know, that's a shame. Came down, took a bad shot, got a bad, bad break on the uh, road. Always hangs in the air. His shot no good, so it'll turn over to Baker. That's... That's two bad possessions. Yeah. Horace checks out, checking in is Jalen Gray. That's 12 to seven turnovers that I have for the game. Filing in control right now. High screen comes up from Threadgill. You can see Fallon sizing up Bolton, and Bolton commits. No, we're going the other way. Offensive foul called against Fallon. That's his third. third. Yeah. Fourth team foul. Steven Newhouse, Steven Newhouse saw something that apparently the Baker fans did not see. They don't like that at all. Ford swings it all the way over to Coach Kimball. Kimball is not eligible to play no, tonight. No, his, so his eligibility is up. Yeah, that's a turnover by the young man. That's, that's three possessions in a row, three turnovers. Kimball going across court trying to catch his teammate. Put a little too much juice on it. That's still only five point ball. You don't need to. Flowers not let spins. Him get... His shot no good, but he is fouled wow. on the play with 1.7 seconds mm. remaining. Zion Hunter commits his third personal foul. And compared to the first half, MGM doing much better. That's only the third team foul against the Vikings, Coach Earl. Now again, those, those turnovers, are, they had uh, three turnovers, and out of the three, they had the ball twice uh, and turned it back over to them. Flower shoots 67% from the line, makes the first. This is the second, they heave it up. And after three, Baker on top, 54 to 48. One more quarter to go, it's really getting good at Daniel Bumper's gymnasium for the battle of Westmobile. <laughs> I 
<laughs> if you're looking for fun, fashionable, and affordable jewelry, it's here. It's Paparazzi. We have a variety of colors and styles of bracelets, rings, necklaces, and earrings for all occasions and for every event. New styles are added daily, which means you are always up to date with the latest fashion. For that genuine bling, join me, Charmaine Watson, the real jewelry lady, on Facebook Live Sunday through Thursday at 7 p.m. It's cute. It's fun. It's fashion. It's $5. It's paparazzi. At the end of three, Baker's on top, 54 to 48. Shout out to Coach Steve Norman right there in the right. That's the uh, head football coach for the Baker Hornets. And he's wiping the sweat off, Coach. It might be getting hot over there in the Hornets' nest as uh, MGM played a pretty good third quarter there. Yes, yes, it has been. Now we're going to see the character and pride. This is on the line right now. Five point thing. They, they were down, I think, at one time, 18 to nothing. So I, uh, this is a heck of a comeback. I have fallen with just six points in the third quarter. So that would give him a total of 25. Very Eric good. Excellent. Washington down low, the ball stolen, but out of bounds. Good defense right there by Threat Gill. Yeah, that, that was a great execution. Hit the high post, go low. Everybody in the right. Court awareness is so important. Bolton with the ball, tipped out by Josh Flowers, quick hands by him. And that's a three drained right there by MGM and Zion Hunter, who shoots 42% from three. And coach, this is the closest they've been, down three points, 54 to 51. Look at Phylon, patient, takes his time, he does not get the basket. He, he didn't do one hesitation. He did two <laughs> hesitations. Maybe to get two that and shot. a half. Sure yeah. did. Yeah. I believe it's going to be Baker's basketball as Magian checks back in, also <laughs> checking in Lavelle Nelson. And ESPN bunch kills me. <laughs> and they're surrounded by a bunch of hooligans with shorts and tank tops. And you know it's pretty cold outside tonight. You, but uh, you got the executives up front with ties on and jackets, and then the rest of them. <laughs> That three I love real that. good for Fallon and Baker. And there's a three, Whoa. and just like that, we are tied as Jeremiah Bolton drains it. 54-54, it is a new game right now, Coach L. It's a new game. Coach is, is loving it. He's out on the court. So you can say we're at the 651 mark. We're at 0-0. Who's going to win the rest of the ball game? I know who's probably going to have the ball in his hands the most for Baker. Allen slashes in, scores. He was looking for the foul. That was a euro in with a lot of heat on him. He was about to get sandwiched. Harris tries to answer for MGM. Two on one. Nelson with the easy lay-in. And, and give credit, Filing. I mean, he could have drove that to the hole himself, but he saw the open man and gave it to him. That's a 15-footer by Bolton. Rims out the iron, That's unkind to the young man. Imagine whips it to Nelson. Look at Nelson on the move as he tries to just drop it in. No good. Yeah, that Euro didn't work. <laughs> that was a Euro no-go. That, that, that was, uh, I don't know what that was. Bolton slowing it down here for MGM. Down four points. They tied it up. But Baker answered with two quick buckets. A turnover on the play. Charles Taylor with the steal and score. And Coach, we were tied at 651. And less than just over a minute later, MGM's down six that yeah. quick. That, that, that's a good timeout uh, by Coach. He needed to take that timeout and regroup because you're right. They came after it. They worked hard to catch up. And But like I said in the first half and later, every time 
every time Baker gets challenged, they meet the challenge and come back Step and score. Step up. Yeah. And on that last bucket right there, you can see by Taylor, Hunter had to lay off. He has three fouls. He really couldn't put the body on him. He didn't want to pick up that fourth foul. Good shot right there, Coach Kimball, talking with the young men. Looks like he's been running, so he's sweating. <laughs> huh? I'm telling you, it's hot up there in the hornet's nest. <laughs> you saw Coach Norman <laughs> wiping off the dome as well. So uh, look, at, look, look at this. Now, this is respect for the coach. All eyes are on the coach. One's not drinking over here and looking the other way and waving to his girlfriend and talking about the cheerleaders and stuff. All eyes on the coach. It's called respect. The shot right there inside on the huddle as they break. Down six points. The Vikings trying to remain undefeated in area play. If they win tonight, this will be their fourth area win. And these teams are scheduled to meet again it's in great, about a week it? and a half on the 24th. Yeah, oh, it's great, Coach. This it's, is great. it's just getting good. <laughs> it's about to get a little good, better here. Good, good, Gray handling the ball for the Vikings. Ryan Hunter, he's going to shoot a three, puts it up. Mm. No good. Came off like a mortar yeah. shell there. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't a good shot. You know, they fought back, they fought back by getting, hitting the boards and getting good shots. You can't, uh, looks like the scoreboard. We have there. a uh, outage at the scorer's table. Coach Armstrong didn't read the fine print in his contract. Is he the electrician too? Coach, you'd be surprised at some of the activities that take take place behind the scores table or things you're trying to prevent from happening like like this. Trust where, me. Where basically someone has walked by and knocked the plug out. That's sure. what it comes down to. Trust me. I coached in junior college for so you, 10 you understand. Years. Yeah. I know reading the fine contract on different jobs you gotta understand. You definitely understand. So the officials would go to the book and find out what the official score was and They'll get a gauge on how much time and hopefully get the clock reset and we'll get back to play. So right now you kind of have a freebie timeout for both teams. But Baker was on a break, actually, um, yeah. coming up the court. So both it kind of stops that momentum, you know. Both coaches taking time to explain what they want done. There's five and a half uh, minutes left, 60-54. Both of them got to do certain things, but two things they can't do. They can't turn the ball over, and they can't take bad shots. Okay, mm -hmm. those are the things. And then positive, get back and play tough defense. You need stops, and you need good shots. LeBaron Le McClendon explaining things to Coach Kimball and Coach Armstrong. We'll go back into play here at 535. After MGM tied it up, Baker on a four-nothing run right now. Eric Washington is getting a rest now. He won't be there for long, I don't think. Now, Hooligans on their feet on the far side of the court. Nothing goes off the screen, loses it, gathers it back, shots up no good. That was a nice play set up for them. He was. The yeah. stagger pick. Just couldn't get it to fall off the glass. Coach doing some refereeing too. <laughs> Gray handling the ball, picks up his dribble, gets it over to Bolton. Bolton played a pretty good game tonight. Does the heart and step back shot. No good. Good rebound right there by Robinson. His shot no good. I thought he Baker might have got possession. fouled on that one. Hunter going to go to the bench, checking in. DJ Barton. Barton has three fouls. Hunter also has three fouls. For Baker, the only player with three fouls is LeBaron Filing. You know, this game, Baker is a completely different team from what we saw the first time. He that uh, shot way off by Nelson. He had and was taking so many more shots. Now he's got, you know, some help. Washington drove in now, Coach. I'm with you. I saw a little contact there. I thought yeah. 
that Magic may have picked up his fourth. I'm sorry, he has three fouls as well. Fallon, Fallon all day takes his time, gets it to the big fella, six, seven center slash forward as he scores down low when the lead is extended. Oh. Easy bucket for DJ Barton. No one back to play defense yeah, for they, Baker. They need to start putting some pressure up here. Four minutes to go, down six points. Double team comes over by Horace. Let's see what Madden's gonna do down low. He tries to do the give and go with foul on, but he is fouled on the play. As a coach, all you ask for officials is to be consistent. I, I thought that there were some fouls down at the other end, and that one seemed like a lot less one than what we were down at the other end. That's four on Barton, so they're gonna bring in the big fella, Eric Washington. He only has one foul. Bring in his size. He checks in at six foul. Oh, nice. the back door screen. Nice play. The, and Madgen could not finish it, Coach Aaron. Perfect play. You know, up pick from the yep. back side, went for the alley oop. Perfect play. Just didn't finish it. Pass could have been a little bit better, but great call. Vikings working the ball around the perimeter. Gonna penetrate here. Bolton, look at Fowler standing still as to not pick up that fourth foul. Pressure on Flowers, he loses it. That's and what I was talking about, the little things Fowler does. He went over and stopped the layup. Yep. That was not his man, but that was his back rotation. He could have got out of his way, but he stood firm. Stopped a layup. And Barton's going to sit down with his four foul. Hunter's going to check back in for MGM. Bolton. Back to Hunter. Nice He's cut. Down. Uh, oh. Nice cut. Washington didn't lose it. It was just knocked out of his hand, but he kind of took a slip at the same time. Yeah. Horace was foot was on the baseline. I can see that here from the studio coach. He caught the inbound pass, but his left foot was right there on the baseline. Unfortunate for MGM, costly turnover right there. Down six with 310 to play. And he was within range of easy, just putting in a bucket right quick for the Vikings. Long three dropped in by Baker. Deshaun Beverly shoots 16% from three, but he stood there flat-footed, coach, and drained it. He didn't even hesitate. Wow. It's like he shoots 80% from the three. The junior really puts the dagger in right there. Look at him. Just wham. 65 to 56 is our score. It's like MGM can't catch a break, coach. They tied up at 651, and they've only scored two points since then. 16 to 8 in turnovers. Man. Uh, it, it's one of those deals where MGM will go for a while and not turn the ball over, and all of a sudden they'll have two or three. Right, back to back. Bad times when they have it. But again, credit Baker. Every time MGM does a run, Baker makes one they or two answer. buckets. Now I will say this, I'm glad to see the Vikings did not come out flat in the third yes. quarter. They came out ready to play. These are experienced coaches, experienced teams. They're gonna come out ready to play. It's just a shame that MGM got such a bad start to the game. Harris with the ball. He's gonna try to show his senior leadership. They're gonna call a block right there on Madgen. It's gonna be his fourth foul. <laughs> He's motioning Coach Armstrong. I'm all right, don't take me out. <laughs> I know you've heard that plenty hey, times. He better not, if he left him in, he better not whack him as soon as the ball's thrown in. Fifth team foul against Baker. Good Robinson inbounds. They're looking to get it to Washington. Nice. He does a little move. spin move on the nice foul line. Move. Shoots it up and drops in. 65-58, seven points with two and a half minutes to go. 
is getting interesting. Following with the ball, has not re relinquished the rock. Does a little Euro move. I didn't think that was really necessary at that point because he had the Vikings on their heels. But look at there, Zion Hunter delivers. Five points. Five points. Oh, that foul. He didn't call three at Gil as he kind of bumped the Viking player out of the way. There's another three launched by Beverly. Phylon gets the rebound, rebound and scores. No foul on the play. Right place, right time, finishes. Boy, the two coaches have done a good job in different situations. I have Phylon on a fish with 29 points in the coach area. And it's not over. He likes, uh, Baron likes that hesitation. He does it really well. Harris shakes off Taylor's shot, no good. Josh Flowers hauls in the rebound. As we are under two minutes, MGM down seven points here. Wide open is Charles Taylor. He's going to shoot it. Didn't really think that was a high percentage shot at the time. You're up seven. And he put it up. Yeah, they need there. to take some time off the clock. Right, the clock is your friend. Josh Flowers. That's not a block. They're going to call a foul against Flowers right there. He thought he had a block. That's his third foul. Well, they fouled one of the ones just on paper, John Robinson, who's averaging 33% uh, percent from the free throw line. So on paper, it's a good foul. And this is MGM's fourth attempt. You know Two what? for four. As close as it's gotten, if you look back at everything in the full picture, the difference in the game, if it stays this close, I think it'll be free throws. John well, Allen and turnovers. Checks in for MGM. You're right, it probably may come down to the free throws, Coach Earl. Makes the second. Also checking in for MGM into zero, Jalen Gray. Two possession game, 67-61. I believe we have a timeout on the floor, possibly called by David Armstrong, I believe. And we're under 90 seconds. You just mentioned two possession ball game. Baker up six. MGM, I will give them credit. They have clawed and fought their way back into the ball game. And we'll be back with another ball game. As next week we're taking it up the road. It'll be Leroy against Citronelle. The girls will tip off at six with the boys following at 7:30. So get ready for some uh, up the road action. Highway 43 against Highway 45. Leave one six minutes, so that should be in there. <laughs> the highway, the highway game. <laughs> <laughs> but they've been battling for years, so that, that's a big rivalry up there in the six minutes, oh, Mobile, nice. Washington County area. So we'll be featuring that next Thursday right here on the MCPSS TV network. Al Whedon, Coach Ronnie Arrow. Coach, what are you drawing up if you got the board right there like Coach Kimball? What are you telling me? Well, kids? right now it's going to be interesting to see if, if they press – uh, on defense. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one of the things, don't take bad shots. Don't turn the ball over. Be crisp with your passes. Make cuts to the hole and finish when you get a shot. Um, as far as I would, I would, we'd have a spread uh, offense if, uh, uh, with Baker and take some time off the clock. Right, right. That, that, that shot Taylor put up that, to me, that, that made no sense. You know, that, that's quite questionable. It make you hear even You're up seven at that point. Hey, there's the press. Taylor breaks through it. Phylon asking for the ball. Down low, Thread go takes his time. He put it nice on the floor ball. instead of going straight up with it. But Baker's going to benefit from the loose ball. And he was wide open down low instead of going for the quick bucket. He tried to pick that foul up, Coach Aaron. I don't know whoever was guarding him. I don't know where he went to. Uh-oh. Ball stolen. It's coming back. <laughs> I 
Don't know if a foul was committed or not. I think it was just out of bounds. Just out of bounds. Yeah, I think it was just out of bounds. One minute and seven seconds, six point game, 67-61. Ashawn Beverly checks in. And Baker. Guess who's got the ball. Takes the ball in the backcourt, brings it across the timeline. Taylor's on the bench for Baker. Over the flowers back oh, go to back Phylon, forward. there it is. And Phylon loses it, Zion Hunter got his paws in there. And then MGM loses it. Josh Flowers, the quarterback, dribbles down the lane, no good. Two score ball game here for MGM. And Hunter wide open on the right. far both, side, screaming both for the corners. ball. Both corners are wide open. But a timeout call by Coach Kimball. That's a good timeout. To get his team collected and gather their thoughts there. Like I said, these are two experienced coaches. They were getting a little wild with the ball. They can't afford a turnover. And Kimball takes a timeout. That would have been a huge bucket if Flowers could have gotten that one to drop after he hustled and went up the floor and kind of right. stumbled, bumbled, rumbled, but did not get it to drop <laughs> in. That would have really made a difference. And there's the ESPN game day crew and the hooligans. They're saying it's over, Coach. It's over. <laughs> you got to love it right there. I don't know who they're communicating to, Coach Arrow. I don't know where they're plugged in, but they, they look quite nice. Hey, they're having fun. And I love the kid with the bow tie on right there. In know. today's world, as much as what's going on, to see kids having fun like that. You only go through high school one time. Right, right. Enjoy yourself. Maybe they're Facebooking live. I have no idea, but uh, <laughs> they, they look good. I'll give them they credit, do. Coach Aaron. They look good. <laughs> it sort of makes us feel youthful. You know, brings you back to your day in high school. I agree. Baker up six points right now. 36 seconds remaining, so MGM definitely needs to score and get a steal and score again. It can happen. Well, either way from here on, it's been a great game. Showed a lot of character on both parts. Uh, good for our TV games. Uh, everything's good. Let's see who finishes looking for this thing they tried to Ball tipped by Flowers. No, by Washington. It goes mm. off of Washington's finger. It'll be Baker's basketball. Unfortunately, I'm sure that's not the way Coach drew it up. Two guys came to the ball. There was no spacing. Nelson checks back in for Baker. I was looking to get that ball to foul on. Loses it, and we have a foul. They needed a foul to stop possession right there. Quick foul by MGM. Only their fifth team foul. They're going to look back on this game. Uh, whether they win, then they, they they want a good game with turnovers. If they correction, don't, they'll be on, against Baker, not MGM. That was they great hustle. Josh Flowers is four five. So as Flowers was, was hustling, he commits the foul. And that put. Jim Jim in the one and one. That's a three by Horace. No good. Quick rebound by Hunter. And a foul. And he's fouled on the play. <laughs> and one coming up. Oh, my gosh. As a coach, and you go crazy. Madrin has fouled out. That's his fifth, I believe, coach. As he puts his hands up. What do you mean? The last thing you want to do in this situation is foul. If they make the bucket, they make the bucket. But it does two things. It stops the clock. It stops the clock. And it gives opportunity for them to set their guys up, but you can't Hunter trying to lose. complete the three-point play free and throw. misses the free throw. And Johnny on the spot, Alex Threadgill, he's been ruling on the backboards tonight. Cleans the glass. Foul on is fouled on the play by Jalen Gray. That's his third, only the sixth team foul against MGM, but it's going to be a shooting foul coming up for foul on. Nelson. No, it's a side out. It's side on the out. side. Nelson checks into the game. 19 seconds to go. Plenty of time. Yeah. Still the two possession ball game, four, Coach Aaron. Four, four points. So a steal and a score here goes a long way for MGM. Baker just needs to play keep away. The clock is their friend. 
And there is the travel. And Nelson <laughs> called for the travel. He had some assisting by Coach uh, Kimball telling Newhouse, he traveled, he traveled. Well, he called it, and then the <laughs> official called it. He helped the official on that. Good call. Red board checked into the ball game, but a timeout call by Coach Kimball. You know what this shows is, well, whatever happens, whichever which way it goes. If Baker wins, then they say we held on, guys. We did what we had to do to win this game. As far as MGM, for the next game, it'll show. Look, we spotted them 18 points. Pretty and much right now, right off the bat, we're we're down four points with 16 seconds to go. And they have definitely oh, yeah. managed their foul content better in the second half. MGM is only with 16 fouls. And at this point, Baker is with their 18 fouls, so MGM is in the bonus right now. But you can't spot, you can't spot, and it makes you work harder to fight back later on, which they did. They fought back. But the lead is now four. It looks like Coach Kimball trying to make sure if he has timeouts. <laughs> I think he may be out. <laughs> he's, I think he's ready to check in. He's lobbying. Yeah. <laughs> Might want to check his eligibility, <laughs> Coach Arrow, just to be sure. <laughs> Olsen's going to inbound it. Ford takes it in the backcourt. And Jim needs to score quick. Bolton wide open. Flowers lays off. They get the bucket. Got a foul the lead quick. is two, and you got a foul quick. I believe Horace will have picked it up. All right, they're going to call him the Shondi Horace. Seven seconds, seven seconds left to go. Two point ball game, 67, 65. And if I'm Coach Armstrong, I like what I see, he's on the line. That is the seventh team foul. Places Baker in the bonus. 84% free throw shooter. The Baron foul on shooting one and one from the line. Makes the first. for his 30th point. Unofficially, according to my abacus. Coach. You know what the bottom line is? <laughs> yeah. if, if they do and he makes this one and they win, uh, what a great game for, for Baker. As we said, it was going to be a sellout. But if you weren't going to make it there tonight, we definitely wanted you to watch. Dylan misses the second. That three put up no good. I believe a foul was called at the end. We're going the other way. Steven Newhouse on the call right there. I don't think they wanted Washington taking that uh, three out there, but, you know, it, 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 uh, late in the game like that, you wind up sometimes in positions where you don't want to be. I want to call that foul on Bolton. Places Alex Frigg on the line. It's .5 seconds. I thought it was one point something there, but I was like point, 1.7, .5 on the clock. Now Alex shoots 41% from the free throw line. He'll be shooting 1-1. One These people got to see a heck of a game. I don't think they're disappointed. I agree, I agree Coach Aaron. Barton's going to check in. He has four fouls. Trying to get the height, maybe the rebound for a long throw and catch and release if Regal misses the first. But if he makes the first, it's pretty much probably a done deal at this point. But this is the critical one. He misses the front end. Horace throws it up. Oh. -oh. No good. Baker holds on 68 to 65. Quite a ball game we witnessed tonight, Coach Earl. Yeah, the, the, the two things that they'll be able to go back, MGM will be able to go back home and say, our turnovers, I have them down for 18, and I don't know what the free throw shooting was, but I don't think the free throw shooting was, was real good for them. Uh, but Either way, both squads should be extremely happy with their players. Two coaches there hugging each other. Right. And uh, so, anyway, uh, it was a privilege to be here tonight to watch this. You like basketball. 
This one's great. I have MGM down uh, five for 12 from the free throw line tonight overall. And for Baker, coach, of course, they hit the bonus early in the first half. I have them 15 for third, no, 15 for 20 tonight. So right there, our official statistics say 12 for 24 for Baker. But look at there, four for 15 for MGM. But coach, the field goal is almost right there, 29 for 49 and 23 for 48. And three pointers, not too many three pointers we saw tonight. The only thing that they don't have up there that's important is the turnovers. Turnovers yeah. quite critical in a ball game yeah. like this. But, you know, hey, both both squads now, Kimball can go back and say, hey, they got to come to our place. <laughs> they got to come to our place now. Y'all battled back. I'm proud of you. The rematch will take place on January the 24th. That's going to wrap it up for us. MGM women get the win and Baker boys get the win. So the battle of Westmobile still has to be decided on the 24th. Next Thursday, we're going to give you Leroy versus Citronelle. So make sure you tune in and check that out. For our statisticians, Matt Moore and China Powell, our director Wade Ford, executive producer Quentin Howard, and for Coach Ronnie Arrow, I'm Al Whedon, thanking you for joining us for another MCPSS High School Basketball Game of the Week. Enjoy your long MLK weekend.